five. That's the phone number. Put that phone number in your phone too. Now, if you got my other one, that's fine. You don't have to get rid of it. But I need you to get this other one too in case you need me for ministry purposes. Because if I'm, I'm, I have three phones. I have Tasty Treats phone. I have this phone, which is my personal phone. And I have the ministry phone now. So if I'm on the phone, on this phone, shooting the breeze, because sometimes I do shoot the breeze. Me and Tony Musgrove, uh, we, we, we talk regularly. Matter of fact, he just inboxed me. We be shooting the breeze. We talking trash and laughing and shooting the breeze. What I used to do with my sister, Bebe, me and Tony do a lot of them now. We shoot the breeze. We, 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 we. We be talking cash trash. So if I'm shooting the breeze with Tony and on this phone, which is my personal phone, and this phone right here ring, I'm going to say, hey, listen, I need to go. This serious. Because this is the ministry phone. So I need you to make sure that you get this number as well, too. So it's 334-343-4775. This phone is accessible 24-7. I'll have this one somewhere by me where I can get it in case something is going on. That phone, you know, so make sure you put those numbers down. All right, so I think I've given y'all all I need to give y'all. Let's have a word of prayer tonight. And I'm going to go in here and figure out what I'm going to do the rest of the night. Father, I love you. I so adore you just for who you are. Um... You never ceases to amaze me. Um, I'm just just literally in awe of you. Just in awe of you and who you are and what it is that you do. I want to thank you tonight for allowing, you know, a little girl like me, just a, a you know, a, a little girl, because that's what I am, I'm, except I come as a child. I cannot know why I see the kingdom or enter in. So the little girl, Father, the little child, I want to thank you for allowing me to sit among your people as a teacher tonight. Allowing me to instruct and teach your sheep, for they're the sheep of your pastor, in the ways of things and how to win in life. I pray that this word tonight has been sown upon good soil and that it will bring forth an abundance of harvest. I pray that purpose will begin to be sought after, desired, and pursued based off of what has been taught tonight. God, I thank you that whatever your people need that hear me tonight, that you would provide the answers that are needed, that you would be the healer where healing is needed, that you would be the deliverer where deliverance is needed, you would be the mediator, you would be the heart fixer, God. You you would bring unforgiveness and pluck bitterness up from the root, God. That there would be no contentions and there would be no strife, but that you, Lord, would be the peace, Lord, that surpasses all understanding. That is what I ask that you would be tonight for your people. Father, I want to thank you for another day. This night is about to come to a close at midnight for another day to start. So I thank you that you kept us thus this far. And I pray that as we go over into another day that you will allow us to see that day with new mercies. That that day, Father, would be a day that we would celebrate who you are and see things get better tomorrow than they were today, God. Father, I give you glory on tonight. And I give honor unto you because of who you are. Strictly because of who you are. Your Abba Father, which art in heaven. So hallowed be thy name. Allow thy kingdom to come in earth as it is in heaven. Father, forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from me. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. It all belongs to you. Now may we have sweet, sweet sleep tonight and wait with communion with you on our hearts in the morning. In Jesus' name, amen. 
in Jesus' name. All right, you all. I love you so much. Y'all got my information and everything. Be a blessing if you so desire to. 11 o'clock on Sundays, we're in the building. We keep it clean. It ain't a whole lot of us in there. So it's social distance anyway. 11 o'clock on Sundays, we're usually in the building. Should you desire to come and be a part of what is going on at Trail. Y'all have a good night. Love you.